how to start page numbering from a specific page in Word. Hey, so have you ever been working on a Word document where the first couple of pages are just the title page or a table of contents and you don't really want those to be numbered? But when you go to insert page numbers, Word just starts counting from page one, no questions asked. Super frustrating, right? Well, I'll explain everything in a really simple way so you don't miss a thing. All right, let's say you have a document with a few intro pages and you want the actual numbering to begin on page two. First, scroll down and place your cursor at the very beginning of the second page. That's the spot where you want the page numbers to begin. Now head to the top ribbon and click on Layout. In there, look for the option labeled Breaks. Once you click on Breaks, go down to the Section Breaks area and choose Next Page. What this does is it creates a new section in your document, which is super important because Word treats each section as a separate space where you can apply unique formatting, like page numbers. Now that the section break is in place, it's time to actually insert the page numbers. Head up to the Insert tab in the top menu, then find the Header and Footer group. Click on Page Number, and you'll see a bunch of placement options. You can go for top of the page, bottom, left, right, whatever suits your design. Let's just pick bottom of page and then choose plane number one for this example. At this point, you'll probably notice that Word continues counting from page one. So your third page might now be numbered as page three. But we want it to show as page one, since this is where our main content begins. Saying to, oh, here's what you need to do. While you're still in the header or footer area, you should see a tab called Header and Footer Tools at the top. Look for a button labeled Link to Previous. This setting connects the current section's header and footer to the one before it, which we don't want, because that's what causes the numbering to carry over. So go ahead and click Link to Previous to turn it off. You might not see any visual change, but this step is crucial. Now, still under Header and Footer Tools, click on Page Number again and then select Format Page Numbers. A dialog box will pop up. Under Page Numbering, select the option that says Start At and type in one. Hit OK, and now your third page will be labeled as Page One. Perfect. From here, every page afterward will follow the new sequence. So the fourth page becomes Page Three, and so on. Now, what about the earlier pages, Pages One, that you don't want numbered at all? If they already have numbers on them, just click into those headers or footers and manually delete the numbers by pressing backspace or delete. Since we've broken the link between sections, removing the numbers from the first section won't affect the rest of the document. And just like that, your page numbering starts exactly where you want it, without messing up the intro pages. It might seem like a few steps at first, but once you get the hang of using section breaks and unlinking the headers and footers, it becomes second nature. It's one of those tricks that comes in handy more often than you'd expect. All right, that's everything for today's tutorial. And if you found this video useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more word tips and other tech how-tos just like this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.